Hello everyone, welcome to Visual Tech. Today we are going to learn about the topic change of voice. An action of a subject in relation to an object is expressed in two different ways. Now these two ways of expressing an action of a subject are known as voices. We have two different types, active voice and passive voice. Let's see the example for both. I write a letter that is in active voice and if you have to change it to passive voice then it will become a letter is written by me. Now even though the structure of the sentence changes in active and passive voice the meaning of the sentence remains the same. The meaning of the sentence I write a letter or even if you say a letter is written by me the meaning remains the same but just that the structure of the sentences changes. We know that every sentence has a subject, a verb and also an object. Now the subject is an agent who works on the object. Now for example, if you take the active voice, I write a letter. Now I here is the subject and letter here is the object. So we can say that subject is working on the object. I write a letter. To understand both the voices, we need to focus on the subject, object and verb form in the sentence. Now in active voice, subject acts upon the subject, object. So here I acts upon letter. So in active voice, subject will act upon the object. But in passive voice, what happens is object is acted upon by the subject. Now if you look into the passive voice example, a letter is written by me. Now the letter is the object, but it is in the place of subject. And that is acted upon me and here me is the subject in the place of the object so just uh, just few changes the replay uh, the position of the subject and object differs hence you can see the sequence of subject and object as an active voice is just reversed when it is expressed in passive voice and that becomes a rule number one with respect to active voice and passive voice change of voice change of the sequence of subject and object rule. So another example, I eat an apple and when we just turn it into passive voice, an apple is eaten by me. So here, this is a subject, this is the object. Here it is passive voice, so object is here and the subject comes here. He bought a car, a car was bought by him. Now we can say that active voice the first thing there will be a subject then you will have a verb and then the object but exactly a reverse of that we will see in passive voice where object comes first this part and then at the end we have subject and verb remains the same now the second rule is tense voice rule now here passive forms are made up of the verb be with a past participle and we can also see a table over here. English is instead of B is past participle spoken. So English is spoken all over the world. We can say it like this. And the other way is have been. So the windows have been cleaned. Lunch was being served. The work will be finished soon. They might have been invited to the party. Or Another case is if you want to show the person or the thing doing the action, then we just use by. She was attacked by a dangerous dog. The money was stolen by her husband. So uh, remember, uh, first is changing the sequence of subject and object, and the second is tense voice rules. And this will uh, this will be enough for you to solve any question that comes in changing active voice to passive voice or the other way around. In the next video, we'll see how to solve the problems based on this. Thank you so much.